All right, I'm going to go through the basics on how to just pick up a single block and move it. First, we're going to click this up here to start a new RoboCell, and everything comes up blank. First thing I have to do is go to File, Import 3D Model, and then you should have already, if you watched the video before, on how to use Cell Setup to make your setup. This is one that I've got already set up, so I'm going to open that one up. It brings it in. I go to Window, Simulation and Teach, and I click that, and it puts everything in the right place. Uh, I'm going to click Pro up here so that I've got full control over everything, although I don't really need it for this particular one. Uh, it's really important that your block is in the right place, that your robot can reach that block. If not, it won't work. The only way to move that block is to reopen Cell Setup, move the block, save it, re-import it into RoboCell. It's just what you have to do. So. Now I have to teach it. I'm going to, these buttons down here, I'm going to click the X, Y, Z. That gets it to move in the X, Y, and Z direction, which is good. And I'm going to click this to open my gripper. Saw that happen here. These are the only, these are the moving buttons. This is where the program goes, and this is where you teach it. All right, so I'm going to call this position right here, position 99. All I've got is a robot. I click this button, I just taught it that position, okay? These buttons up here, I've got three of them. Send robot to object, to point, or above point. So I'm gonna click the above point, click on my block, and that now has it above the block. I'm going to call that position 11, and I will click that to teach it. And then I will have it go to the object, so I click that button, click the block, now it's at it. I'm gonna call that position one, teach. I'm gonna actually pick it up and move it now, so I'm gonna close my gripper, and I'm gonna just move it manually, up some in the Z, and then back in the X, about to there, and I'm gonna call that position 12, teach, and then I'm going to go, I think I want this middle one, I'm never sure on this one, yep, that'll put it at the table, I'm going to call that position 2, and teach, all right, so uh, I'm just going to reset it, this button right here will reset the work cell, so everything's the way it was in the beginning. Uh, this button gets me to move it around. Uh, if I go back to here to reset it, if I, push, if I click my right mouse button, I can rotate and zoom in to get it the way I want it. Just those are some things you need to know how to do. So now I'm going to program. First thing I want to do is I want to open my gripper. Nothing happens yet. This stuff only happens when you run the program. I click this button. This goes linear. This goes to the position. I'm just going to click this one. So I want to go to position 11. Linear. Fast. Click OK. Then I'm going to go to, now if I click this drop down, you can see these are the positions I've taught it. So I could just pick manually from this one. I'm going to go to 1. Fast. I'm now at my cube. So I'm going to close my gripper. These buttons are to program the open and closing. They don't make it actually do it till you run it. Now I'm going to go, I want to go back up a little bit. So I'm going to go back to position 11. Then I want to move backwards like I did before. So I'm going to do, I'll do that one. I'm going to go position 12, fast, okay. And then I'm going to go down to the table position two, then I'm going to open my gripper and I will just come back to my original home position and that would be the end of my program, okay? So I've got all that. So if I just click start here, here this takes it through one step at a time. This runs it one time, this runs it continuously. Well, that wouldn't do me any good because my block will be gone. I want to run this, but if I click it, you'll see nothing happens. I have to start 
I have to click on my first line first. Now I click on single cycle, gripper opens, and it also highlights as it goes down from place to place. You can tell where it is in the program. Steps down, grabs it, comes up, moving back, coming down, up, back to home position, and there you go. Pick in place. It's that easy. Uh, one last thing is if I want to, well, this is kind of interesting. Check this one out. If I reset it and go to follow me camera. Oh, wait. Oh, that doesn't work. If you, um, if I click follow me camera and I click, click on something. Now, you can get it to where it actually will follow the thing. I think that's it there. All right, maybe not. But there is a, oh, and actually, if you get it the way you like it, if I get here and I find that I want it to look just like that, if I click this, it saves that position. So now whenever I go to home, it goes back to that home again. Um, there is a, if I follow the movement, no, nope, that's not it. This shows you, you can control it this way. But if I want to, wait, let me see. Found it. This button right here, this one that says show robot path. If I start up here at the top, and we'll be, I'll be asking you to use this so that I can see that you're, when you have it all done, I can see what the robot did. But if I click robot path, and then I click single cycle, you can see it creates a, it draws a line, the path that the robot took. So it's really easy to see that it did the right thing. All right, so that'll, pretty, that'll take care of it. So that's how to do the first pick and place activity.